So what's up, Mystery Farm? What's going on? Welcome back to another video, and it's time for me to vote out my T O T Y team, team of the year for FC Twenty Four. And uh, well, it's gonna be a test of my ball knowledge because I've said so many big things. This player is not good here. That player is not good here. But it's gonna be a ultimate test of my ball knowledge. And as we go through selecting one player at a time. I mean, I'm, I am probably like I haven't done my research yet. So while selecting the players, I eventually have to do my research and use my brain. Hopefully, you know, my brain does not burst out uh, while making this video. But uh, let's see how the final team turns out because, you know, there are some confusing decisions. And even I also don't know, like, you know, from which time period to which time period we are actually considering the performances because are we considering Messi's World Cup win or Ballon d'Or winning? uh part or we are just uh, taking things uh, like uh, taking messi's mls performance into consideration or you know the same goes for uh, you know edardson and and things because last time i know we got that utts where he messed up and uh, like and also the covid also like you know changed the season up a little bit and it's kind of weird time to have to why like it's it's mid season i think it should have been time for tots now but uh, let's see let's see what we have in stock and let's see how our ultimate team turns out so eventually it's going to be a ultimate taste of my ball knowledge down here as i'm going to be selecting out uh, my tier 2 squad uh, for fc24 and uh, i mean i was looking at the formation it's kind of weird you know this is not a striker it's actually a center forward you know it's actually a false nine down here previously in the last few seasons we got you know classic 433 holding but now here uh, it looks like this is a false nine is there something cooking ea sports i don't know but i'm going to be considering considering this as a striker i mean i don't know man like is messi getting a center forward card or something whether messi deserves to be uh in the to i like is is very controversial but we're going to be going off with the goalkeepers mark andre tarstigen has had an amazing season last year with uh, you know barcelona considering one of the list i think barcelona was the uh, team who considered the least number of goals last season so obviously being a part of that defense goalkeeper plays a very important role and tarstigen has managed uh, to so how good he is i mean i think he's still past his prime though like his prime was under uh, the prime of manuel noer sadly o black okay mike mag nan has had an amazing season in the champions league i mean i obviously did not watch much uh, syria but i've seen some of matches uh, in the champions league and uh, the ac milan goalkeeper was on fire so he can be a potential choice sisney once again like juventus kind of formed kobel did amazing job samba once again was really amazing uh ederson and you know there are two brazilians well in the national team alison becker is preferred over ederson because uh, he is probably a better goalkeeper but i'm going to go with ederson I'm going to be going with Ederson. The reason is that he has won the treble, he has won the club world cup, uh, Champions League. Uh, he was also the part of the Premier League team and come on, come on guys, he is a very good goalkeeper. I mean, he has made some crucial saves. So I think Ederson is going to be my choice. William Saliba, well, what did Arsenal do other than bottling the league? I mean, okay, come on. I mean, forget about the jokes. Uh William Saliba is a very good defender but one thing I'm going to be sure at uh, like this one here is Ruben Dias. Ruben Dias number one choice at the center back and uh, another guy that I don't have much issue with is uh, Theo Hernandez. You know there should be no debate with these two guys. These two center backs Van Dijk is obviously a very amazing favorite for last season but I'm kind of confused the right back as well there is no Jao Cancelo or you know we were we were thinking that maybe Jao Cancelo and Dante might be a part of this one he has had an amazing season Mark Yunus Kim Min Jae Matt Hummels John Stones 
जॉन स्टोन वेल आई नो दैट लास्ट सीजन जॉन स्टोन प्लेड अमेजिंगली आउटस्टैंडिंग वेल आउटस्टैंडिंगली वेल एज अ डिफेंसिव मिड फील्डर बट it's between van dyke and john stones for me in here and uh, once again john stones has won the treble and he has played a very important role like you know as a defensive midfielder but is he going to be has he performed has he outperformed van dyke oh it's very very difficult here man has he outperformed van dyke here and uh, what's going to be the thing Ah, it's difficult. It's difficult. I'm gonna go with John Stones. I'm gonna go with John Stones. Uh, I mean, I know Van Dyke is probably a better defender, but it's team of the year, you know, 24, and I think John Stones has uh, Van Dyke. Um. Oh no 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 no! What I'm gonna do? Can I play John Stones as a right back? Van Dyke adding here. I mean, I'm gonna be doing injustice to Frimpong because I thought Frimpong probably is gonna be a choice down here as a right back. Oh, we are coming to that. I mean, I'm I don't know, guys. I don't know. I have no idea. I mean, defense is is kind of like you know midfield. It's kind of like you know there should not be any debate about that. Here, okay. Where is the other guy? 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 There he goes. Maybe I'm gonna play. You know, I'm gonna like switch positions here and attack. Well, Mbappe. Where is Haaland? Where is Haaland? Yeah, there he goes. White boy. The right wing. Is it gonna be Leo Messi? Is it gonna be Mo Salah? Is it gonna be Hyung Min Song? Is it gonna be Usman Dembele? Definitely not Usman Dembele. Ah, Cristiano Ronaldo as well. Does Messi deserve to be a part of this team? Has he done enough in the MLS? After the World Cup, yeah. I mean, if you like think that Messi has won the Ballon d'Or, so for that he's gonna be a part of this one. But Messi has won the Ballon d'Or for the previous season, not for this season. So, I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I'm kind of confused. Like you know, the COVID nineteen has messed messed up a little. Am I gonna be going for Messi? <sighs> it's, it's it's really difficult, man. But who are the other options available? Moreno, Kubo, Vinicius Jr., Lewandowski, Morata, Griezmann. Griezmann was really amazing last season to be honest. Cristiano Ronaldo obviously the one of the top scorers. Benzema 15 years old stay calm. Victor Osimhen This guy is playing well. Martinez opened the Rafael Leo high gain. Hyungmin Song, Mo Salah. Well, I like I haven't seen much of Liverpool's matches, bro. So one vote is gonna be really difficult here. Jack Grealish. Like he was drunk last season. Well, guys, I did my research and I'm kind of really stupid. I mean, yeah, this is this is not should have been, you know. Jeremy Frimpong is also a case. John Stones has been injured the entire season. And it has to be it has to be film pong and in the right wing there is no issue it's most it's most Salah it's most Salah it's just most Salah I'm telling you like this this is this is the best team this is the best team it has to be most Salah I just want to make sure that Ruben Diaz uh, deserves the place uh, is he playing I mean I don't know, I don't know like you know, loads of players are injured and uh, I mean I think Ruben Diaz has had a good season as well so. I think this is what my team looks like. This is what my team looks like. I mean, it was really stupid for me to even consider John Stones because, uh, I mean, he has not been a part of 
of of of like you know the latest season like he has been injured for 52 days that is more than uh, that is more than uh, two months and uh, Mo Salah I mean it's, uh, why did it take so much time to decide between Mo Salah Mo Salah needs to be there 20 matches 14 goals I think and uh, I, it, he has to be in there and Frimpong has to be in there I mean in, originally I was thinking Frimpong Van Dijk Ruben Diaz uh, Theo Hernandez, the midfield, obviously everyone is going to be having the same midfield. Goalkeeper, I had no doubt that I probably am going to go with Ederson. So, I think this is a decent team. Like, I'm, I'm happy with this team. I'm so sorry. Uh, I mean, Liverpool, Liverpool fans, I took so much time to decide between Van Dijk. I, I'm slapping myself. But, yeah, I mean... I think this is a uh, this is a decent tip. Can I take a screenshot or something from like this? Okay, save as an image. We can do that later. So well, I mean uh, that is my team. I am so stupid that I did not consider Mo Salah at first. I mean I I, I mean I was probably like uh, you know confused that you know Messi has won the World Cup and uh, you know he has won the Ballon d'Or. So like he Messi won the Ballon d'Or for la previous season, not for this season. This is in Ballon d'Or. Probably Elling, Elling, I mean Jude Bellingham is gonna get that uh, Ballon d'Or probably in a, how well he's performing. Uh, the timing is kind of weird. Uh, I mean uh, we all can agree, and I'm kind of confused as well. But I'm really satisfied with my final team. There is no question about that midfield. Jude Bellingham, Rodri, and uh, Kevin De Bruyne should be there in that midfield. Like that is probably the best midfield combination right now uh, in the world. And uh, the defense, like Theo Hernandez, I had no issue with that. Frimpong also had no issue with that. I was just stupid. Uh, like, but I, I mean, I like completely ignored the fact that uh, John Stones was out uh, for like two months. But why did they even give him the nomination? Are they considering considering him, I mean, his usual performances for this, this year's TOTY? Like, I mean, it's really confusing. The timings is kind of really weird. But... Hopefully, like, currently I'm just confused about one thing, Ederson, Tarstigen, or like, whoever, but you know, I don't think that should be an issue. And Rionana might end up getting a tier 2A. Maybe, might be, might be, I don't know, because we cannot, cannot disagree the fact that he has had some amazing, you know, like, not, man, not for Manchester United, I mean, when he was playing for Inter, Mil Inter Milan, I mean, he had had some really, you know, good, he has made some really good saves there. So, I'm, I'm kind of satisfied with my team. What team did you go for? Let me know in the comments. And, uh, you know, rate my ball knowledge out of 10, maybe. I think I kind of messed up. Or I'm, I'm, I'm kind of happy with my team.